What does Yao mean in Chinese? Yao. Oh, huh? Hello everyone, I'm Shuo. Welcome back to Shuo Shuo Chinese, Shuo Shuo Zhongwen. Today let's talk about this word, Yao. Do you also think that Yao means to want? I mean, it is not completely wrong. Like you could say, 我要一瓶啤酒. I want a bottle of beer. But simply translating Yao into want may cause misunderstanding like the one shown in the beginning of this video. A better way to understand Yao is to think in a Chinese way, which I will explain to you in this video. First of all, I want you to stop trying to find an English translation. And now take a deep breath. Let's feel the word. Yao gives a feeling that something is truly going to happen. It is not just what you want. It is not just your desire. The thing that is going to happen will be either a plan in the near future or a thing that you really want to happen soon and you are very determined. Let's see some examples of the first situation, which is a plan in the near future. 我要去买咖啡,你一起去吗? 我要去买咖啡,你一起去吗? 我要去买咖啡。这件事很快就会发生。这是我现在的计划。明天我要洗衣服，要去取钱，我还要去看我的妈妈。明天我要洗衣服，要去取钱，我还要去看我的妈妈。这些都是我明天的计划，他们很快会发生。周末我要加班。周末我要加班。周末的时候，不管我想不想，加班这件事都一定会发生。Then I will show you some examples for the second situation. You really want something to happen, and you're very determined. Say you're making your New Year resolution. 2023年我要减肥,我要学游泳,还要学开车。2023年我要减肥,我要学游泳,还要学开车。You really want your resolutions to become true. 我要一杯啤酒。我要一杯啤酒。that's why you would think that Yao means to want, because when you are ordering, you would use Yao. But if we think in Chinese, Yao gives a feeling that you really want something to happen soon and you're very determined. Of course, when you are ordering, you would want this glass of beer to be in your hand as soon as possible. Let's see the last example. 我要你。我要你。here, Yao can also be translated as want, but it still indicates that 我要你。我非常想让这件事情发生。If you need to have an English translation for Yao, I would suggest that Yao actually has a couple of different meanings. Be going to, 我要去买咖啡, have to. 你要去医院, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 我要减肥, but don't you think that trying to understand this word in a Chinese way is actually more helpful, especially in a long-term way. There are many, many other words that can be learned in a Chinese way. For example, this word, 想, it gives a feeling that something is in my head. For example, 我想你, I miss you. You are in my head. 我想吃面条, 我想吃面条. I want to eat noodles. 
eating noodles. The idea is in my head. 我想要见你。我想要见你。The idea, 要见你 to see you very soon is in my head. Maybe this can answer your question about what is the difference between 想要 and 想要。想 something is in my head. 要 something is going to happen very soon, or I want something to happen very soon. 想要 the idea that something is going to happen soon is in my head. Another example is 会 which shows the feeling of a fact. For example, 人不吃饭会死。人不吃饭会死。It is a clear fact, isn't it? 我会永远爱你。我会永远爱你。At least for now, I think it is a fact. You don't use 要 here, like you don't say 我要永远爱你。Because this is not your plan. 我要永远爱你 Like I said, other than 想要 and 会 there are many many other words that we can think in a Chinese way. How about leaving a star emoji in the comments if you want me to make a full video to talk about this topic? All right, so this is all the content about today's video. I hope you like this video, and now you understand what is the meaning of 要 and maybe you've got an idea about the difference between 想要 and 想要 I'm Shuo from Shuo Shuo Chinese. I will see you in my next video. 再见